Hey, what's up guys? Bajira here. So this is gonna be my chest workout that I did the other day. And this is coming off, I wouldn't say like a like a uh, like a tricep injury or anything like that, or elbow injury. It's just that right now I've got like some probably like minor tendonitis is I guess what you could call it. But honestly, it's really not even that big of a deal. It's just that my elbow does hurt when I use like any sort of like tricep, like when I bend my extending my elbow all the way out. It hurts a little bit, so any sort of pushing exercises or especially like tricep extensions can hurt. So I have to give it a little bit of rest um, in between push days, but that's really not that big of a deal. But I also am kind of watching the weight that I push on my push days, so I really didn't go much heavier than like, I, I don't know, like maybe 245 today. But I was just happy to be able to do pushing exercises in general because I did pretty much take a week off of anything that was involving my elbow because I re it's just annoying to have pain like that and you don't want to make it any worse so I don't know you just kind of take some take some downtime do a lot of pulling exercises if I wanted to work my shoulders or my chest I was doing a lot of flies so I was doing you know shoulder flies or pec flies to still get some chest activation but my triceps were already kind of a weak point for me so I don't really like taking time off training them but it's for the best I've got to let my elbow heal up but on this day, I had, you know, given my elbow enough rest that I could uh, push on past. And it was, my, I don't know if I mentioned, it's just my right elbow. It's really not that big of a deal. But um, got it enough rest so that I could do some pushing exercise without it um, hurting too bad. Like today, it kind of hurts now. So I probably have to rest it for a couple more days. But that's fine. Really no worries there. I just want to be able to train. And pushing exercises have traditionally, historically been some of my favorite things to do. I always like to throw in some some bench it, pretty much like every day even on my back day I'll do bench in between my sets and stuff like that if I'm using the the hammer strength machines and whatnot sometimes like to throw in some shoulder presses just to get warmed up and bench press is definitely one of my favorite exercises so having my elbow hurts kind of a bummer but when it gets rested and, I, and I'm able to do chest day again I feel pretty good but like I said wasn't going too heavy here just wanted to do some uh, some bench press to start off the, the, the workout and it, this was feeling pretty good I always love bench press but like I said, I didn't want to overwork my elbow early on, so I didn't put too much weight on the bar, and I didn't do as many sets as I sometimes do, because this is kind of just like a, a getting back to it workout, so I wasn't that worried about it. Now, on my uh, incline bench press, I was feeling pretty good with the incline bench press. I was feeling pretty strong, probably because I didn't do as many sets of a flat bench. But for this, I took a really, really wide grip, and really focused on using my uh, upper pecs rather than relying on my my triceps to get that weight up there. So I'm also altering, I mean, I'm altering my weight, I'm altering my form, altering my rep range, altering my sets, all just with the intention of being able to get some work done on my chest, on my pushing sort of movements without putting too much strain on my elbow. And I've gotten a lot of questions about what to do if you're, if you're like sick, do I train when I'm sick or do I train when I'm injured? And I guess, I mean, the best answer I could give you guys is go by feel. If you feel like you can, you can train, uh, you know, with whatever's going on, go for it. I mean, with this thing with my elbow, you give it rest when you can. Try to find other ways to exercise around it because I still want to go to the gym. I still want to train. I still want to work out. And eventually, you know, after a week or so, my elbow felt better, so I was gonna go for it. And now, honestly, like this is getting, this is gonna get me kind of upset. But I really do feel like I'm about to get a cold again, and that kind of pisses me off. So, in terms of the training sick thing, I guess we'll find out soon enough. Um, I can already kind of tell that I'm getting sick, but I went to the gym today anyway. And if I don't feel, if I don't feel bad enough to not go to the gym, then I will go. I mean, hopefully, I don't get everybody else sick at the gym. But, I mean, I do want to train. It's good for my well-being. It's good for my mental, my mental health, my physical health. So. If I don't feel too bad, I will go to the gym, but if, if I do start feeling pretty bad, like it's sick, I probably will just take a few days off and not try to make it too bad, but honestly, it is up to you guys whether you train through, uh, you know, sickness or train through injuries, but if you do decide to train through them, just be smart about it, like, if you're, for me, like in my case, if my elbow's hurting, I'm trying to avoid exercises that uh, really isolate my elbow, like I haven't done tricep, uh, tricep, like, pushdowns in a long time, so a lot of my exercises that involve my tricep are being mainly supported by my chest so I'm doing mostly my pushing exercises where it's focused on my chest or in this case focused on my shoulders and I'm not trying to put my elbows in any sort of position where they uh, where, where it hurts right so if your knee is hurting or something like that you know if you can't do a squat maybe you do some leg extensions maybe throw in some hamstring curls see if you can do uh, movements that isolate muscles or at least avoid uh, straining the joint or muscle that is already hurting obviously right I mean it seems kind of like a like a 
obvious thing to talk about. Well, if something hurts, you know, avoid doing it. But in my mind, I still don't want, like, all my pushing movements to go to waste. Like, I still, just because I can't, you know, bench press doesn't mean I can't train chest at all. I can still do all kinds of fly exercises. Sometimes if I'm careful about it, I can do some incline stuff that it really involves more of my just chest rather than my uh, elbow as much. Now, this is, this is the kind of stuff here where it's kind of tricky. Like, this is definitely a movement that is targeting your tricep. Anything that targets your tricep is going to involve a lot of elbow movement. But I was able to do this with, without much pain. I mean, like I said, the day after, my elbow's kind of like a little bit mad at me <laughs> because I was doing stuff like this. But I don't know. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take what I can get when I'm when I'm sort of a little bit hurting like this. If, if it's not hurting when I'm doing it, then I'll, get, I'll try to get the work done while I can. And if it's got to hurt for a couple days, I'm not training a push day for a couple days anyway. So we'll let it rest and recover and hit it again, hopefully. But I don't think I'm creating any sort of like long-term injury doing this sort of thing. It's just uh, it's just annoying, and I want to train through it if I can. But all in all, things are going pretty well. The dieting process is going well. I'm still hanging in there at about 208, so that's still about a seven-pound loss in the past two weeks or so, which is I, I don't know. I, I don't think that's I don't think that's just like all just body fat. Seven pounds of body fat gone. It's probably Probably part of it is a little bit of water. Probably part of it is that I'm not, um, I'm going to the gym in the morning now, so I basically just get up and just go straight to the gym first thing uh, after I get a couple videos done. So there's probably not as much food in my stomach. That's also not holding water. I've cut more carbs, um, so there's not as many carbs in my system to hold water. So I think a lot of it's water. Some of it might be fat, though. I feel like I'm looking better already. We'll see. The Part of the part of the sad thing is when you do diet, you, you lose, at least I lose some strength with the way that I diet. And since I'm not eating as many carbs, I definitely don't get as big of a pump, and so my muscles look deflated, and that's sort of like, I don't know, it wears on you mentally. But I've been here before, and I know I know what it's like, and I know that uh, losing the body fat is sort of worth um, losing a little bit of strength or losing a little bit of muscle fullness because if you uh, if I put carbs back in my diet when I'm lean, I will like yeah I'll feel right out and. That's okay with me, because I, like I said, I've done this before, so I have a little bit of experience. I know what it feels like, I know what sort of diet works for me. And if you guys are curious what kind of diet I'm working with right now, uh, I'm working on... Let me see if I can pull up my MyFitnessPal actually right now <laughs> as I'm doing this commentary. Let me pull this up for you. So, I'm eating right now, I, I'm doing like, I allow myself 3,000 calories, but some days I only go to 2,700. The, the, the 300 is just like, you know, an extra snack if I really need one, but that hasn't been an issue. So, I'm on as much as like 180 carbs I guess but on, on a normal day like I might only hit like 160 170 uh, I, I allow myself up to like 120 fat but I, I can eat as low as like 80 and my protein is still really high I'm still eating around 300 grams of protein so I, I have some wiggle room in my diet like if I want to go up to 3,000 someday but really you know 100 170 carbs 80 pro I mean 80 fat and 282 protein is what I ate on Friday, and that's like 2,600 calories, and I felt fine. So, if you, I mean, if, if I can feel fine in a pretty stern deficit, I'll go ahead and go for it. But a lot of what I do with my diet and my training is by feel. Like I have an idea of what I want to do, and then I sort of vary that by feel. So that's what I recommend you guys do as well. Just, just trust yourself. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.